Okay. Um, if you can remember in part one, we basically weighed out weighed out all the materials to the correct um, to the correct proportions and percentages, and we screened it a good five to six times, and we end up with that. Okay. Now, so now to actually um, make your cut stars, you're going to need obviously the stuff you made in part one. Um, you're going to need your gloves, disposable or brilliant. You're going to need some your um, your 25% um, rubbing alcohol or IPA and 75% uh, water mix in a in a fine mister spray. You're going to need some um, tin foil, aluminium foil. Or again, if you're if you're in the states, aluminum foil. You're going to need a spoon and a ruler. Okay. Once you've put on your gloves and you've got your spoon ready, get your get your fine um, fine spray of um, alcohol and water mix, and just give it a good give it a spray. I'm getting a bit lower this, but give it a spray. And just mix with your spoon. Mix it round. You want it to to resemble almost like breadcrumbs, really. Thousand little pieces, and you won't get 
You won't get no moisture coming through, so this is perfect. Okay, so so now what you want to do is you want to get a square of aluminium foil or um, or aluminium foil, as you may have say, and just basically get your your ball of sand, as I call it, whack it on and press it. Press it down. It will break up on the edges, but that doesn't matter. That's a good sign because you don't want it to. Oh, well, if it don't break up on the edges, you've got it too moist. Well, I don't know if you can see that. See, it's break, it breaks up on the edges when you when you push it down. That doesn't matter because you don't want them too wet. You can that will be all right because you can when you start to break up, you can just push it back. Okay, just pat it all down and chill. You've got it to the right thickness. Now, because I'm you doing, I'm making these for smaller shells. For the maximum I'm doing is is about one and a half inch on these. I don't want them too thick, so I'm just pushing them down, just like that, nice and thin. You really want these about, I would say, I would say good. Thick wise, a good half a centimetre thick. Push it down, spread it out. See, so it's all cracking on the edges, but it doesn't matter. Just push, just you know, push the cracks together, re remould it. Okay, just remould it in. It's like being back at school, this. Okay, a bit more. Just use your palms and your hands and just push, push and your fingers, then with the edges and squeeze them back, mould them back in, just like that. Okay. And your stars will look and your it will look just like just like that like a flat pancake almost. Now, okay, now when you, you can take your gloves off now. Now, to cut them, all you do is you get the edge of your ruler, the will advise, have a get, a get a tissue for this as well. Edge of your ruler, let me zoom in so you can see. squares yeah so we do as you ruler we're oh, doing this edge first as you ruler now I don't know if you can see well do I'll do it anyway just put it in put it on push down pull up push down pull up push down pull up and I don't know if you can see that Go in a bit more. As you push down, it will separate them. The knees are, I'm just just about half half a centimetre. So you do that down one way. Oh, one way. So you do that all down the, down the length of that way. And you curl it. Now I've done that. I'm going to clean the glaze off. It's all nice, even even stripes. Just turn it around. And again, you want to do it along, so you get nice even squares. Again, try and keep them about half a centimetre. Remember, push down, straight up. Push down, straight up. Push down, straight up. Push down, straight up. Down, straight up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up, down, up. 